Captured by giant yellow men, Tarzan and his friends are taken to the distant jungle city of Tor, where they are brought before the exotically beautiful queen, Artea. The audience is interrupted by the arrival of Tongo, chief of Artea's outer guard of claw men, several of whom have been killed by the white party. Artea informs Tarzan that the laws of Tor permit a chief to claim the right of avenging the death of his men on the person who has slain them. She adds that Tongo has come to claim that right on Tarzan. The ape man accepts the challenge and in single combat kills the giant Tongo. Deeply impressed by Tarzan's magnificent strength and utter fearlessness, Artea gives him and his friends the freedom of the city. Before quartering them in the palace, she conducts them to the Hall of Pantu, the Chamber of Sacrifice, where she forces them against their will to witness the sacrifice of a Rotorian prisoner to the fires of Tor. At the conclusion of the ceremony, Artea gives Tarzan her ultimatum. He shall remain in Tor as her mate. The alternative, death to them all by sacrifice. Faith, and will ye listen to the brazen hussy? She's actually making Tarzan an offer of marriage, if he can call it that. You have heard the will of Atea, Tarzan of the apes. Upon your answer rests the future safety of Janet Burton and those others. Oh, speak. What a terrible woman. Oh, why did we have to come to this awful place? Je ne vous pas, mademoiselle. I have seen Tarzan under a similar situation very ably. Well, Tarzan, you answer. I can't answer now, Atea. Tomorrow, perhaps. Then you shall rest and come to me later with your answer. Mungo will conduct you to your quarters. Wa well, Mungo, look to a rope. Tarzan, Wongo, Anna, look. Oh, look, Atea. Come, Tarzan, white people. Go long, Mungo. Out of the great circular hall of Pantu, through numerous well-lighted corridors, the giant Mungo and his guard of yellow men conduct the whites to their abode, a suite of two rooms in a distant part of the palace. One large room accommodates the men, a smaller one, Jeanette. There are stone couches, a low, massive table of wood, many leopard and lion skins. Into a small basin set on the floor of the larger room, fresh, cold water flows. There are several long, narrow windows screened with heavy metal grills. On the threshold, Mungo and his guard halt. The yellow giant motions his charges to enter. White people, stay here. Very soon, bring food. Aruk, Tarzan. Where? Well. You found your city of Tor, haven't you? Yes, by Jordan, with a vengeance. And now that you found it, Major, what the devil are you going to do with it? Get out. Escape at the first opportunity. Which, my friend, will not be so simple. Atea would not be so ingenuous as to leave us unguarded. If you open that door, you will find that we are well supplied with yellow soldiers. Well, just for the satisfaction of knowing, I'm going to see. Oh, you're right, Wang. There are six of the heathen devils. <laughs> it is quite evident that Atea does not trust her guests. A charming young lady. Charming? Why, she's an out-and-out -out fiend. A savage who hates every one of us. Oh, oh faith, and there's one of us she don't hate. <laughs> uh, apropos of that, Tarzan, mon ami, what are you going to do about Atea's ultimatum? Well, he'll not agree to her offer, Lieutenant. None of us would permit it, not even to save our lives. Bien dit, mademoiselle. We are agreed upon that. Hmm. At least she doesn't intend to starve us. If I'm not mistaken, these fellows are bringing food. Sure, and I don't mind admitting that I'm hungry. Wait a minute, you two. Why are those guards... Bien, Tarzan. You might just as well have addressed the stone wall. You would have received the same answer. They did not understand you, mon ami, or were ordered to keep their mouths shut. I guess you're right, Darno. They didn't even seem to hear me. Deaf mute, maybe. Oh, be got it. Oh, this smells good, whatever it is. What do you say to eating first and talking afterwards? Yes, we'll eat. Oh, how can you men eat when tomorrow we oh, may... Oh, we may die, of course. Oh, didn't I hear Wang tell you a while back that a fellow dies like a gentleman on a full stomach? Sit down here, Jeanette, and eat some of this porridge. You'll feel better. And, my dear, we are far from being dead. 
We'll find a way out somehow, Jeanette. I have a feeling that even if you did agree to her offer, Tarzan, the rest of us wouldn't get far before her yellow guards would murder us. That golden idol back there in the chamber of sacrifice. And those very beautiful gems around its neck. Where do you suppose they came from, Tarzan? Dr. Wong, you certainly aren't contemplating... I contemplate nothing, Jeanette. However, it might prove profitable to cultivate the... Uh, but never mind. Let us see what tomorrow brings us, eh? Well, I suppose these stone benches are the only beds we can expect. Which one's mine? I believe the other room was meant for you, Jeanette. Oh, no thanks. We're all in this place together, Uncle Jim. I don't intend being alone at any time, if I can help it. There are plenty of benches in here. I'll take this one in the corner. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night, night Jeanette. Good night. Try and sleep well. It's in me mind, gentlemen, that there's no love in that she-devil's heart for Jeanette. She still believes Jeanette and Tarzan are sweethearts. Right, Terry. Athea's skin may be white, but her heart's black. She wants you, Tarzan, frankly, and she intends having her way. She may let us go if you stay, but I very much doubt it. Mm, vraiment, Major Ashley, I agree with you. Her demonstration in the sacrificial chamber upon that... What did she call him? Ratratorian was merely a threat to impress us with our power. Rato. Rato. By Jove. Didn't she say that he'd been sent to spy on her and her people? She did that. From which one might infer the nearby presence of another tribe of yellow people. Inimical to these, uh, Thorians, right? And if so, mon major, what good would that do us? They would as likely sacrifice us to some heathen god or feed us to their own pet crocodiles as they would these Torians. If they had us, the lieutenant's right, Major. We'd probably only be stepping from one bad fix into another. Let's get out of this hole first. Tarzan will have to string along with a tear and keep his eyes open for a chance to escape while he's doing it. I tell you, the woman has the left ear of typing and the right of a mandarin. But on which side her hearing is the better, it might be hazardous to guess. However, for her own sake, Janet must be kept in sight of one of us all the time. Voila! Voila! Our friend Mungo returns. Oruk, Tarzan. You come long, Mungo, now. Atea wants to talk to you and Wong man from China. Atea wants to talk to Wong and me now. Tonight, out there, won't talk you too. Come. Bigari, I don't like it at all, at all. She's trying to break up our crowd. Get us separated. Tell her to go to the devil, Tarzan. On the contrary, Tarzan. Let us follow, Mungo. The fact that Atea has not sent for you alone augurs well for us. Do small, do small, mon ami. Be careful. I sense a trap of some kind. Why should Atea send for Monsieur the Doctor Wong instead of one of us? Others. I'll find out soon enough. I'm not afraid of Atea's traps. Keep your eyes open here while we're gone. Come on, Doctor. All right, Mungo. We're ready. Yes, Lieutenant. That woman don't mean them to any good. What does she mean sending for them at this time of night when all decent people ought to be in bed? I should like to know myself, O'Rourke. However, so long as Tarzan and the doctor are together with her, I do not think either of them are in any danger. Unless she's a lot smarter than we think she is. I wonder why she sent particularly for Wong instead of one of us others. Tarzan, well, that's self-evident. She's frankly infatuated with him, but uh, <laughs> she certainly can't have designs on Wong, too. Uh, by the way, Major, Monsieur le Dr. Wong is a good friend of yours. Uh, you have known him a long time? Only since Nairobi. Some three months, eh, Terry? Just about that, Major. When I began the organization of my safari for this expedition in Nairobi, Wong came to me with an attractive partnership offer. His credentials were excellent, from the old Imperial Museum in Peiping. I accepted his offer, and, well, that's that. Eh, puis, uh, Monsieur Rook? Terry, oh, <laughs> he came down on the same boat with us from Port Said. I discussed my plans freely with him. Through his advice and suggestions, I saw that he knew his jungle. I, or rather Jeanette, prevailed upon him to accompany us. <laughs> She's the attraction, Darno, as far as Terry... Ah, no, leave be, Major. You know well why I joined ye. It was for the fun of it alone. What are ye driving at, Lieutenant Darno? Rien de tout, mon ami. No tan at all. I, 
I was merely curious to know why I Lord... don't like your questions, Dano, nor the tone of voice you're using in them. Come clean. What's your craw, <laughs> eh? What's in your craw? <laughs> Mais, monsieur, uh, ne fâchez vous pas. So far as you are concerned, there is nothing in my uh, craw. I am thinking about Monsieur the Doctor Wong Tai. The golden image of Pan Tu and the diamonds around its neck seemed to fascinate him. Meanwhile, Tarzan and Wong Tai, surrounded by a dozen or more gigantic yellow guards, have traversed several corridors, descended a long flight of worn stone steps to enter at last a dimly lit narrow passageway. At the entrance to this tunnel, Mungo halts his men. With a sign, he motions Tarzan and Wong to follow him. Hmm. What do you make of this, Tarzan? We are certainly not going to Atea's audience chamber or the hall of Pantu. No. We must be far below either of those rooms. In the central rock tower somewhere. Mungo, where are we going? We go Atea. Door, end of tunnel. She wait. If she demands your answer to her ultimatum tonight, Tarzan, what are you going to say, eh? I don't know yet. I'll give her an answer. Quiet now. We're at the door. Quiet, people. Go in. Atea, wait. Come on, Wong. I think God does them. Hey, hey, lion. Get back, Wong. Open the door. Oh, I, I come up. It is passing from the outside. Look out. He is coming. Riga! Riga!